to my YouTube channel, Akimola. We have another question to solve today. And this particular question is so much, but no problem. We are going to do justice to it. But before we go ahead with the solution of this particular question, don't forget to watch and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also like and share my video. I will appreciate if you can do all this. I will seriously appreciate it. Now, let's go solving the question on the board. We have a question. Find the remainder when? Oh, 2,222 is raised to this power. We have is divided by 7. Looking at this question, you should understand that we will be dealing with modular arithmetic. And we are going to consider mode 7. Mode 7 because we are dividing by 7. Now, before we can get this particular thing, it will be very difficult for us to get this particular this particular value. It will be very, very difficult for us. So we need to start simplifying from the lowest value. So I'm going to start by writing. Let's consider 2, 2, 2, 2, to mode 7. If we divide 2, 2, 2, 2 by 7, we are going to have 2, 2, 2, 2 divided by 7, which surely give us 3, 1, 7. 3, 1, 7 times 7 will give us 2, 2, 1, 9. 2, 2, 1, 9. That means 2, 2, 2, 2, divide minus, minus 2, 2, 2, 2 now. We give us 3. So here now, I can write. This one now will give us 3 when you consider mode 7. I have the first answer. Now, I have divided by this. Then we need to consider 2, 2. The next one we are going to consider is 2, 2, 2, 2. Raised to the power of 2. When we divide this by 7, what will this give us? This one should give us a straightforward answer. Since we have gotten the solution to this, that means this one will now give us the answer to this one in the bracket is 3. Then we have a power square. So we are going to have 2. Of course, this one now will give us 9 because 3 raised power 2 We give us 9. But when you are dealing with mode 7, your answer must always be less than 7. It should be between 0 and 6. 7 upward will not be part of the answer. So 9 divided by 7 will give us 1, remainder 2. So we are going to stick with the remainder. So this one now will now give us 2 mod 7. We have this, 2 mod 7. Where do we go from here? Let's consider the next one. 2, 2, 2, 2, to the power of 2, everything to the power of 3. If you consider this, you will notice that we have gotten the answer of the one in brackets. So what do we do? We are going to write the answer. The answer of the one in bracket is 2. Then what we have outside the bracket is 3. We have 2 raised to the power 3. And 2 raised to the power 3 will surely give us 8. 2 raised to the power 3 will surely give us 8. Don't forget, we are dealing with mode 7, and most everyone we deal with it is 0 to 6. So, 8 divided by 7 will give us 1, remainder 1. So, our remainder here is also 1, mode 7. So, if you look at this place very well, you will notice that instead of writing 2, 2, 2, 2, this power, according to the law of indices, we have a number, a raised to power x. Both A and X are now raised to the power of Y. What the law of indices states is that the two powers will multiply. So we have A, X raised to the power of Y. So we are going to have here now 2 to the power. So we can call this one now 2, 2, 2, 2 to the power of 6. Now, where do we go from here? Let's consider 6 now. 2, 2, 2, 2 to the power of 6. Then we are moving gradually. Let's divide the equation 5, 5, 5, 5, divided by 6. If you divide it by 6, we are going to have 9, 2, 5. 9, 2, 5. 
That means we can have 925 here. So if you have 925 here, don't forget the answer to the one in the bracket is 1. So we are going to have 1 to the power of 925. What will that give us? If 1 is raised to any power, it will always be equal to 1. So this one now we also give us 1 mode 7. Now we are going somewhere. Don't forget what we did here. When we apply this law of indices to this, 2 times 3, we can as well do the same thing here. Then we are going to have <clears throat> 9, 2, 5 multiplied by 6. That will give us 5, 5, 5, 0. So from here, we are going to have 2, 2, 2, 2. Raise the power, power of 6 times this will give us 5, 5, 5, 0. That will give us 1 mode. Seven. But look at the given question. From the question, we need, we need to get two, 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 two to the power of five, 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 five. If we should subtract this one from here, we have five, 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 five minus five, five, five zero. This one will give us five. That means we are going to have two, 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 two. I can write now that my two. Oh, let me write it very well. Because this thing is not showing well. So I can have here now that 2, 2, 2, 2 raised to the power of 5, 5, 5, 5 will now be equal to 2, 2, 2, 2 to the power of 5, 5, 5, 0. Then times 2, 2, 2, 2 to the power of 5. <clears throat> if 5 is added to this, then we can have this particular power. Then if I should apply the law of indices, according to the law of indices, if you have a number, a raised to the power of s times a raised to the power of y, the law says that a, since a, b, the base is common, then the powers will be added together. We are going to have x plus y. So we have these two together. So I'm going to apply this law to this space now. If I should apply that law here, that means I'm going to have... Uh, my 2, 2, 2, 2 will now be 5, 5, 5, 5 will now be equal to 2, <clears throat> 2, 2, 2, mm, 2, 2, 2, 2, then I have this. But I still need, before I can apply this law, I still need to simplify this because I have broken this thing down. I have broken it down here. As in, I have gotten this answer here. Then I am going to still, I still need, I have gotten an answer to this. I also need to get an answer to this because the answer of this is one. I need an answer to this particular one. For me to now get that answer now, I am going to have two, 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 two. Rest of the power of five now will now be what is the answer to this particular one here? The answer of this particular one is three. So I'm going to have three ways to the power of five. 3 raised to the power of 4 is 81. That means I'm going to have 2, 4, 3. But don't forget, we are dealing with mode 7. So how many 7 can we get from 2, 4, 3? We have 2, 4, 3 divided by 7. 2, 4, 3 divided by 7 will give us 34. 34 times 7 will now give us 2, 3, 8. 2, 3, 8. From this now, we now give us 5 mode. 7. If you subtract the answer of this from that one, we, it will give us 5. That means, don't forget, we have 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 5, 5, is now equal to 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 0, times 2, 2, 2, 2, 5. The answer of this particular one is 1, times the answer of this particular one, now we have gotten it here, is now 5. So the answer now will now be 1 times 5. And 1 times 5 will surely give us 5. So the remainder of this particular question now will now be 5. Like I write out. Oh, the remainder now is equal to 5. That is the answer to this particular question. So you can see solving a question in modular arithmetic sometimes involve the application of the law of indices. We are going to stop here for now.
but don't forget please subscribe to my youtube channel i will appreciate if you can do you can also like and share my video we take it all from here next time god bless you